Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we need to talk about a very peculiar tech champion and happenings surrounding him. And before we go any further, I will be 1 million percent upfront in saying that I would be nowhere near as lighthearted towards this video had I personally ranked up Shocker or gotten him as a 7 star and ranked him up. And I was actually very, very close to it. Uh, I was going to do it today or tomorrow, to be honest. Shocker was going to go to rank 5 and ascend it. But now, I'm not saying I won't, but I definitely will have to think about it because it is inevitable and inarguable that Shocker is now weaker than he was before. And why? What is the reason for that? Well, the reason is that now his heavy attack uh, damage does go through attack modification and that means it can get affected by glancing. And it means that it can get affected by armor and other stuff. So that makes him significantly worse in some of the matches. Now again, to be perfectly candid here, thank fudge I did not rank him up before. Whew. But this is going to go <laughs> very interesting. And uh, change the shocker aside, what is the most worrisome part is obviously how much on the down low it goes. So even though I might not have as much personal investment into this situation, I still choose to talk about it because number one, I want people to be aware that Ch Shocker has changed now. He cannot do multiple matchups now that he could a couple of weeks ago. And number two, because I'm absolutely appalled about the lack of information and heads up and everything else that has surrounded this issue by Kabam. Because, uh, well, it looks like since the last update, Shocker effectively gets affected by glancing on his heavy attack. He gets affected by armor rating. And again, that means several of the key matchups um, that he was used for, like Maestro, for instance, like Red Skull, just do not work anymore. They do not work because, well, his big ramp up and big damage goes to poop. And that is a change that Kamam um, made very, very much so recently. However, the biggest problem here, in my personal opinion, is that, uh, well, now if we take a look at uh, patch notes, for instance, uh, so this is the April patch notes, right? And uh, this is a new thing, new development. And uh, if I type in the search bar and look for the word shock, only shock that comes up here is something to be still a Saturian. So it means that shock is not even uh, mentioned here. For instance, right? So. Only thing that I cannot tell you for sure is whether this bug was or was not on the Trello board. Because let's face it, who the punch ever looks at the Trello board? That board probably has no reason to exist. And at this point, I think I'm quite sure that I lost the link to it to begin with. But uh, yeah, I don't think it was there. I'm like 98% sure nobody mentioned that. So either the shockers fix. The, the glancing alteration, the attack modification alteration was not listed there or just nobody noticed. But now obviously that it is in game, people have noticed that Shocker, well, uh, is worse than he was. Well, we can just say like, we, 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 don't, we do not have to debate whether we're going to call this nerf or bug fix or, or however you want. At end of the day, Shocker is worse today or than he was a month ago. He cannot do pivotal, significant matchups that he used to do. And we do have some uh, forum posts, I believe, from that. Uh, not forum posts, but uh, on X, I believe, DLL, DLL uh, did kind of post a clarification that it is an attack modification, but like weakness, it's one that applies after the attack increases, such as what Shocker gains on his heavy, so, it's lot, so, it's, so it sounds like something's off in the order of operations here. And that's effectively why glancing works now, because they changed something in the order of operations, the best I can gather. Obviously, the end result of this is the fact that Shocker, again, cannot do Red Skull anymore, cannot do Maestro, He's going to struggle against a handful of other champions now that have big armor rating. That means he's worse off against virtually any tech champion or some other cosmic champions like Venom or whoever can get plenty of armor buffs. And uh, yeah, obviously all the glancing stuff he is worse against, which is kind of uh, interesting as well because that's obviously Storm X, 
that he's going to be worse against. It's obviously going to be dust that I think he can probably still do, but definitely will not be as necessarily reliable or good at, as against, I think. And uh, that goes even kind of like against class wheel. So whilst I do not by any means think this is as big of a change that effectively Kabam bug fixing Mallman, uh, I, I still do think this is absolutely, absolutely inex inexcusable because I know a lot of people personally who ranked up Shocker uh, with a very big factor in mind as to countering Maestro, for instance, as to countering, um, you know, other champions. And obviously he's still going to be a good champion. That's why I'm saying, I'm not saying I'm not going to rank up Shocker. I still might, but I definitely kind of put a break and a pause on that entire situation for now until I want, until we see this resolved and until we see how Shocker kind of like fits in the metagame right now, because it definitely has changed. Again, you can say whatever you want about me. You can say whatever you want about this entire nerf, bug fix, what have you. But one thing is inarguable. Shocker as a champion is worse today than he was a month ago. And that is something that was not communicated. That was not, you know, message to the player base. It is something that Kabam just randomly did and community stumbled and found out about it. And now we have to deal with it. And that is rough. Like, as a company, Kabam should not be allowed to do things like that at all. You know, this is the definition of the type of thing that we should know about as soon as Kabam finds an issue with it. And even then, if Shocker is like the only champion who, you know, functions differently because of the order of operations, or one of the very few at least, you know, there should be some sort of discussion. It is not an auto decision to change it just because it makes sense to Kabam, because one of the worst things that Kabam is at fault for is not respecting the investment of time and resources of the players, which is becoming a bigger and bigger issue. It is exactly the same thing what they did when they couldn't fix a bugged Balgrounds node, therefore they just randomly changed the meta in the middle of the final weeks of Balgrounds. And that automatically invalidated a whole bunch of rank caps that people did, myself included, just because Kabam, you know, had a bug, couldn't fix it, and went, yeah, whatever. And again, that is a bigger and broader overarching problem. You know, I don't know how better to explain that, but it is complete shameless and inconsiderate attitude from Kabam towards the player base. And if there is one thing that Kabam, you know, should be very wary of, is the satisfaction of the players right now. Because let's face it, the game has seen better days. Let's face it, the, you know, the community's opinion of Kabam definitely is not at the zenith. Uh, and it's precisely because of things like that. Again, I want this game to be good. I want this game to be amazing. I want this game to do as well as it can because it also helps me, obviously. And this game could have been 10 times bigger and better had, you know, Kabam made better decisions and perhaps most importantly, communicated themselves better with the player base. Kabam does like a monthly stream, for instance, now, where I talk about all the new things coming to the game, but they never address any issues or problems there. They never answer any significant questions. They just completely ignore and pretend that no bad things are ever happening in the game. And they just kind of completely glance over all of that. They do some things better now that they did in some aspects, but there is very little real conversation about what goes into making decisions like that, why they are made, and, you know, how best to connect the players to Kabam and make players understand, you know, what Kabam is going through, and also make Kabam understand what players are going through, and perhaps having Kabam adjust some of their decisions based on that. Anyways, I have yapped for far too long now, but as a matter of fact, if nothing else that you take away from this video is that, well, Shocker sucks against Maestro now, and Red Skull, and a handful of other champions. So Shocker is eh, still a good champion, not as good as he was a month ago. Anyways, that is it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. 
Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have more information about 